What is going on guys, Bangle again here coming back at you with another video, and boy has it been a while. Um, I don't know if you knew this, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably did. If you looked in the channel section in the community, you probably know this. I had laryngitis, which meant that I felt completely fine. I felt, you know, 100% wasn't tired, wasn't drowsy, uh, my throat didn't hurt, I didn't, uh, at, you know, have the sniffles, I wasn't congested, nothing like that. I felt completely fine, other than the fact that my throat was like so inflamed, I guess, that I couldn't produce sounds out of my mouth. And that, you know, as a YouTube guy, can be pretty important. So I wasn't able to record Dolphins franchise or any rebuilds, so I apologize about that. And I had a lot of questions in the community section that confused me because I've talked about these things so many different times, but I do respect the fact that there are always new people coming in. Um, so I wanna talk about Twitch really quickly. So I stream on Twitch pretty frequently when I'm not, you know, under the weather, I guess, with the voice thing. I'm going to try to muscle through this video. I'm going to try to just get back into the routine of things. Uh, my voice is not at 100%, as you may be able to tell. I'm a little bit raspy still. Uh, but I stream on Twitch, and I will be streaming the offseason for Dolphins franchise on Twitch. Now, that either could be quite soon, depending on if we win or lose today, or it could be a little bit longer based on when the Super Bowl is. But I would say today is Friday as I record this. The off-season recording will be live-streamed on Twitch and will later be brought over to YouTube. I will be announcing when I'm going live on Twitch on my Twitter. Be sure to be following me on Twitter so you actually know. If you don't have a Twitter, make one. You can make one only for this, but it'll notify you if you have notifications on when I'm going live and I will have a date on Twitter and a time on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter to know when I go live on Twitch. I also stream other things, a new Call of Duty's out. I'm gonna be streaming that a lot. And I'll probably even later today as I record this on Friday, um, but you guys probably will be seeing this, I would hope on Saturday. I stream usually like MLB The Show, Call of Duty mainly, Madden occasionally, but it's not really my main thing. So if you go on Twitch and you're like, hey, where's Madden? It's on YouTube usually. But unless we're doing an off-season stream, that's going to be on Twitch. It will be uploaded later to YouTube. Don't fear if you can't make it live. It's a YouTube series. Everything is going to happen on YouTube uh, unless you want to watch it live, in which case it'll be on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Bengal. I say this 100,000 times because people, I saw in the community section, it was like, where is it? Every link you're ever going to need is in the description. People ask me about the outro song. It's in the description. My Twitter is in the description. Every link is in the description. Instagram, whatever you need, it's in the description. Anyway, we're in the AFC Conference Championship. We face the 12-4 and four Cleveland Browns. They are an 85 overall to our 78. They have Odell, Baker Mayfield, Denzel Ward. We have home field advantage, and that's kind of it. Got DeAndre Hubbard in the game. He's our sub linebacker, but the question is, and he's, yes, he's back out. He was injured last time. The question is, though, where is Jerome Baker? We only had one linebacker on the field for that? Yeah, we're in a dime package, so only one linebacker. As that's going to be out to the flat and dropped by Antonio Callaway. Byron Murphy in coverage wasn't particularly tight, but that brings up third down and six. It's Freddie Kitchens calling plays for the Brownies. Mayfield out of shotgun. He's going to throw quickly, and that is uh, going to be short of the first down marker. That is complete to Alan Hearns. Really? But not a very productive drive here for the Cleveland Browns as they fail to convert on third down. Colquitt will punt. Jakeem Grant, the spark plug, back to return. Stellar moves as always. All right, we're in the playoffs now. We really can't afford to make too many mistakes, like at all. But uh, pressure got in very, very quickly off the edge. That's Jannard Avery. And uh, this is not the start we were looking for. Looks like that could be a safety blitzing. So maybe Jakeem Grant on a quick hitter is the move. That's actually open. Kenny still sideline. He holds on. Big catch. I like Kasiki there. We got a good matchup. He's a streak specialist, man, and he drops the ball. That's his superstar ability. It's intercepted by Denzel Ward. We had a favorable matchup. It was two on one, essentially. Uh, didn't work out that way. And that is uh, an unfortunate turnover. People have also asked about season stats. That's going to be in the off-season video. So uh, not to worry. You will be seeing the season stats 
Just you gotta wait for the offseason. The season's not quite over yet. Second and 12, trying to get there. It's gonna be Najoku on the catch. Mayfield uh, being a little bit conservative so far. It is third and eight. That taking a one-on-one -on -one shot. You gotta make this play, Minka. Didn't go up and get the football, but stopped Odell from making the catch. That's a big play by Minka Fitzpatrick. X-Factor on Superstar right there, and the Superstar gets the better of him. Colquitt gonna punt for the second time today. Third and short. Who are we looking for here? Maybe Devontae Parker quickly? Yeah, he's wide open. Go, Devontae. It's a nice catch. Like, I'm so tempted to streak Kosicki again from this spot, just because I feel like we can split the safeties pretty easily. And then have Preston Williams coming underneath. That's kind of open on the sideline. I try to get it to circle, man. Sheldon Richardson gets in there before Ross can deliver the football. Just missed a potential big gain. It's always a risk when you take a deep shot. But as you guys know, I really like to do that. Get that in there. Kenny Stills. There we go. That's a big catch. Balaj checks into the game now. Handout's going to go to him up the middle. He gets a nice gain in there. Second and one, McLeod is the motion man, wide right. And we're actually gonna throw it to him, Ray Ray McLeod. Kind of a rarity to see him making a catch, but there, there he is. Wow, this might be tougher to get through this video than I thought. Ross, touch pass over the corner. Beautifully done. Might try to see if we can utilize that Jakeem Grant speed up the middle. Just need a couple blocks to set up. And we maybe had him. Jakeem Grant showing off the wheels, hitting the hole hard, and scoring a touchdown. We're on the board. Should be 7 0. And that is a great way to open up here in Miami in the AFC Conference Championship. Also, whether you realize it or not, saying AFC Conference Championship is quite redundant because it's American Football Conference Conference Championship. It really just is the AFC Championship, but I have a, I have the bad habit of kind of being redundant in that regard. Is it's a big gain, and the ball is on the ground and recovered swiftly by looks to be uh, 75. I don't even know who that is. Joel Batonio? Yeah, captain. He's going to be Joel Batonio. Looking for a big stop. And they check down, Hubbard all over it. But tackles are broken and the first down is picked up. Duke Johnson, now the uh, real life Houston Texan, but he is uh, he is making moves there and, and somehow picks up the first for the Brownies. I don't even know how that happened. Oh, that's gonna be wide open. The AI running in this game is still not amazing because if Chubb cuts that one outside, Probably gets a lot more yards, but uh, now they're set up in a third and short. Chubb might get the football again. It's actually going to be some sort of weird play action, and down goes Mayfield. We sent pressure, and Nate Orchard gets in there, hits home. Maybe knocks the Browns out of field goal range, but they're set up for it anyway. I guess we'll put Titus Avant back there. Not really who I want returning this, but no way he has the leg for it, right? Kick is no good. Did it have the leg? I think it was just short. Regardless, we're set up with awesome field positioning now from about midfield, pretty much right on it. Got Jakeem Grant here on a type of draw. He's got a lot of speed. That's easy first down. Mike is sicky. Just gotta take what the defense is giving us right now. And they're sagging off quite a bit, giving us ample opportunity to hit short. So we're gonna keep doing that if we can. Unless something opens up downfield, in which case uh, we'll take some chances, but that's why it opened. Devontae Parker again, another first down. Third and nine. I had an easy first down. Uh, I pressed the wrong button and uh, did not get the easy first down. And now I probably had Gesicki. Linebacker ran away, but I was already checking down to Jakeem Grant. We're just going to take the field goal. We're going to go up by 10. I think it's the easy decision here. I don't want to get too reckless and aggressive in this situation. We'll just take the points, take a two-possession lead, and give the ball back to Cleveland. Uh, really firing on all cylinders right now. Offense is working well. Defense is, is grooving. Six minutes left in this first half. We'll get the ball to start the second half. We're in business right now. 
That is excellent tracking by Raekwon McMillan. Shuts down Chubb, third and long. The Browns can't seem to do a damn thing. Back-to-back -back of runs on a, on first and second down, probably not helping them out too much. As they really didn't get anything. But that is wide open. Oh my goodness, and he might go all the way. Minka in pursuit, Harris in pursuit, finally brings him down. It's a rookie Anton Harris, for those who don't know. Nope, Anton Scott. Who is Harris? Matt Harris. Nope, Matt. Is it Matt Harris? Is he the rookie corner out of a and I don't know. I don't know who that is. It doesn't matter, right? Because we allowed the touchdown anyway. Uh, Cleveland on the board. Not exactly what we want there. I think it's Matt Harris. I think it's the rookie cornerback out of Texas A&M. And they didn't look too great on that drive. Yeah, please blitz me. Please blitz me. If I have time... We're getting rid of the football. Yeah, Jakeem Grant, watch this. Just look at the wheels. It's easy run after the catch. Easy, keep blitzing me. Those are good blocks for Kalen Balaj. Doesn't he have to break a tackle, just picks up the first easy. Yeah, we're running the ball here. Let's, uh, let's motion Preston Williams across, bring him inside the block, and then pick up the first down. I don't know if we got it. We maybe didn't. No, we did, all right. Ball was uh, not on the money. Pressure came in pretty quick. I was really hoping we were able to burn from that inside slot position on that left side. No safety up over the top. I don't think Kenny Stills did in time. But I know he didn't. And uh, he's going to throw up a jump ball. Didn't really like anything. And uh, we'll settle for another field goal. Down goes Baker. This time it's Tyrone Holmes. He's got good finesse move, man. He's got good speed, good tackling, good pursuit. He's a really, really good uh, rotational player for us. Definitely someone I want to hold on to for the future. It's a screen. I'm all over it. Baker threw it away. Now it's going to be third and 26. We might even have an opportunity to score again before the half. To run. Hubbard shuts it down. We're calling a timeout. I mean, we don't really have to go all that far. And if we get a field goal, I mean, that's a huge success. I'd like to obviously get more than that. Can we touch pass that in there? Oh my goodness, Devontae Parker, what a grab. Thought he'd get more separation, didn't end up happening. But he makes a huge catch, and we are nearing ever closer to field goal range. And that's a blitz. To me, third and 22. We'll try a timeout. Because if we get the first down, we might be able to spike and kick a field goal. That was a really bad sack to take. They blitzed really, really heavily. But it was a gamble that paid off big time. It really did. Kenny Stills. Can we get up and spike this football? There might be too much of a runoff, and there is. 12-second runoff. Uh, couldn't even get back to the line. It's unfortunate. It's a missed opportunity maybe from taking that sack. But it is now the start of the third quarter, start of the second half. Get the football again. We'll see if we can do some damage and extend this lead on the Browns. Where are the safeties? Kenny Stills, please cook. We're just going to take the short option with Kasicki. Don't want to throw up an interception in this er, in this situation. It's going to be third and short. Kalen Balaj should be able to dive this one right over. Got a good block from the fullback. We got it. Kalen Balaj picks it up. We get that inside. Gesicki, another inaccurate pass. Ross is killing us, man. We're going to have to punt for the first time today. That's not good. Just need to wrap up Chubb, please. Thank you. Wrap up the Chubb. Great advice. Be safe, kids. Give me that. User pick. Easy reads. If you give him out some cookie, he'll house it for a touchdown. Jerome Baker. Finds the end zone, pick six. That could be a game changer. That could end the game. I know it's still a lot of time left as we'll go for two here. Try to make this a two touchdown game, 21 to seven. That might be all she wrote. Over the middle, Preston Williams, 21 to seven. And the slow clap for Preston Williams is disrespectful towards the entire city of Cleveland. Give it to me. User pick. Easy reads. Chicka chicka boom boom. Easy 
reads back to back user picks on back to back throws that's wide open hit it Preston Williams good catch that was a tough throw and tough catch it's a decent ball not amazing Devontae Parker again another big catch for him he's got maybe five catches today pretty good in franchise his sixth catch actually he's got about 30 yards to go on 100 might look to get that Devontae Parker though again he's got it touchdown why not why not hits the whip like Odell and the Michael Jackson that is classic Odell I remember when he did that uh, mm, Giants Panthers I can't remember I remember that though I, I vividly I just can't remember who the Giants were playing when that happened ironically now does it against Odell's current team in the playoffs it was actually it was a uh, Giants Saints in uh, New Orleans when Odell did that just looked into it and we're coming up the middle they actually hand it off that's bad Titus Avant can't wrap up on Nick Chubb and he is off to the races no one's gonna catch him huge touchdown for Chubb and he has gone from half Chubb to fully erect I'm sure 75 yards it's dangerous for them we just need a little bit of time to make something happen we pump fake found the right receiver it's Devontae Parker oh my goodness that's the best play of my entire Madden career pump faked on Gesicki didn't like it so I I fixed it by hitting it twice before he threw the ball and then we found Devontae Parker the open receiver Ross now in the zone we can throw it about 100 yards downfield now we'll see who's open looks like maybe Preston Williams on the sideline he makes the catch this offense is rocking and rolling ironically here in hard rock see that's unfortunate um, we we're looking for Kenny Stills man and he got bumped on the route which meant he slowed down tremendously wasn't even close to in position to uh, make the catch it was a risky throw anyways uh, that's that's just unlucky though it's a, it's a, it's a combination of bad decision plus unlucky with Kenny Stills getting bumped and stopped essentially he like, has pass interference in real life but not in the game because they don't really count for that unless there's an animation oh big that's a safety Tyrone Holmes shed a block brought down Chubb and he's back down to limp 30 to 14 now Miami the interception doesn't hurt us it actually helps us that's a fun change Shaquem Grant up the middle why is that so open no one picked him up something's gonna be open here it's either a check down or is Preston Williams and the check down was open third and five they've left that open every single time we've called that play they like the short hitch over the middle it's just always open open Ray Ray McLeod again how does he have multiple catches in this game a Kalen Balazs cutting it back great block by Devontae Parker unbelievable blocking on the outside second goal do we give one of our big targets a shot here on a high point we go for it Williams can't hold on might go back to it mm, I don't like it I don't like it I don't like it we're gonna throw that Williams holds on to the ball oh my goodness Preston Williams how did he hold on lobbed it across the field I can't believe that that's the thumbnail right there Preston Williams is disheveled upended by probably PJ Williams and somehow makes an unbelievable catch and holds on that spectacular catch really just phenomenal on that one we'll take another look Williams calling for it across the middle here we were obviously already rolling out we find him we are all right Preston 
We'll give you that shot. He boxes him out, goes up, and then is completely upside down. Completely upside down. I'm like, he's going to drop the ball 100%. And he holds on. He transitioned. Look, transitions and holds on. Unreal. Oh, you're an idiot, Baker. You're an idiot. Easy reads. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. I don't know, man. I, I get so many of these. I have to recycle books, obviously. It's the difference in the game. Take three touchdowns away from the user picks. It's a different ball game. Now, I'm, no, I'm no math guy. I don't know what 44 minus 21 is. Probably like seven or so. Something like that. I don't know. No, and then I'm going to actually do the comments. You think it's seven? I don't understand sarcasm, Ben. I'm eight years old. You think it's seven? No. I think it's like... Not nine, maybe? I don't know. Oh, you're such a fool. You're an idiot. Easy reads. User pick. Green eggs and ham. Why not? Why not? I'm unfair. I'm unfair. This is where we get people. Stop usering. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be up. You shouldn't be able to score 50. You shouldn't be able to beat the Browns. 51 to 14. I'm not done yet. Watch me again. Keep throwing at the user. I'm going to keep taking it away when the game lets me. And I'm going to annihilate opponents. It's wide open over the middle. I was not on my user. Otherwise, it's probably not there. Baker's thrown four interceptions today. Uh, I believe they all are all user picks. I believe. Not positive on that. But I'm pretty sure. It's another open. What are we calling there? What is it, outside? Dude, he was barely out of bounds when we made contact with him. It's a weak call, honestly, and I abandoned my zone. Ball's on the ground, though. Minka forces it out. This is a slaughter. It's been a weird game. Seems like we haven't been able to force uh, fumbles at all. And then we forced two today. That's our first one recovered. This might be all she wrote. It's tough to win games when you turn over the ball five times. The action. Fucking block! My right tackle watched. I tried to, to roll out and escape it because I thought he'd be in a block. It's third and 22 now. 71. I mean, he's a rookie, I believe. He's useless. You got it to Preston Williams, though. Fit it over the linebacker. You really can just throw right at him. They don't do anything. I almost stepped out of bounds, by the way. I almost, like, uh, what, Joey Harrington, was it? It wasn't Joey. Was it Joey Harrington? In the, on the Lions, went out of the back of the end zone? It wasn't. No way. Who was it? What Lions quarterback was that? And the ball's loose again. Dude, every time the game updates, and in the last week there's been an update... My sliders are so bad. Dan Orlovsky. Yeah, I was I was getting Dan. I couldn't couldn't remember exactly who that was. Dan Orlovsky stepped out of the back of the end zone. Classic shit lions. That's what it is. Run up the middle. It's Jakeem Grant. Makes a juke. It's just too easy when you have that type of speed in the backfield sometimes. I know he's not exactly averaging a ton on the ground. 4.1. I mean it's not great, not terrible. But uh, he, he just has those big runs in him that that Kalen Balaj doesn't really because that electric speed, and that's really what it is. Preston Williams, ironically, he's out of the back of the end zone like Dan Orlovsky there. It's kind of a different situation because we had a touchdown. We're calling the same play again. We can fit that over the head of the linebackers. Preston Williams is an absolute glitch. And this is what everyone wanted him to be. Just that guy that we can just throw the ball to. And he just outbodies and just catches the ball. And his catching is getting so good that that's all we really need him to do. Get in the end zone, get moderately open, and we'll throw you the ball and you'll moss people. We have, we've had a few drops today where the, I think they should have caught the ball and they didn't. But... Preston Williams 
has made two phenomenal catches in the end zone now. I mean, he's just unfair. Like, who's on Odell? That's an accurate ball. That's a big gain, but uh, this game is over. Uh, Cleveland completely fell apart in the second half. User picks, I think, are the difference in the game here. I mean, Cleveland is threatening here. They're probably going to score a touchdown, but there's also a minute left, so... The screen. It's a weird time to call. Is it? Maybe not. Duke Johnson's been really, really good today. Yeah, I mean, uh, we smashed them. It wasn't like that the entire game. I mean, you'll see the uh, like the scoring trend and like the percentage to win here in a minute. Because the game didn't go like the score shows. We just ran away with it in the second half to advance to the Super Bowl. And look at that. Close all the way until the, uh, the fourth quarter, really, we turn it on. Lawrence Ross had himself a game. 32 of 50. We threw the ball a lot. 402 yards, three touchdowns, two picks still. Uh, rushing, Balaj was decent. Shaquem Grant was decent. But receiving, I mean, we had a lot of catches because we threw the ball a lot. We really did. Devontae Parker, 10 for 124 and a touchdown. Preston Williams, eight catches for 88 yards, two touchdowns. Had a two-point conversion as well. He dropped the ball once. Shaquem Grant dropped the ball once. He had four catches, 56. Kenny Sills, three for 68. We got a lot of guys involved. Even Ray Ray McLeod, Nick O'Leary. Defensively, DeAndre Hubbard was all over the field. Alonzo Wood, two tackles for loss. We had two sacks here. Tyron Holmes, Nate Orchard. And then three interceptions. User picks for DeAndre Hubbard. One for Jerome Baker. Uh, Force fumble for Cornell Armstrong. Minka Fitzpatrick and Titus Avant. Recoveries for just Kendall Fuller. Uh, and then two defensive touchdowns for DeAndre Hubbard. One for Jerome Baker. Uh, that really told the story of the game here. But we are going to the Super Bowl. We're going to do some upgrades before we go. And uh, yeah, I know I don't want these games to go like this either. So there will be uh, massive overhauls headed into uh, Season 3, I can assure you. As we're going to go, probably Power Rusher into Alonzo Wood. Get him hopefully into the 90s, I would guess. At least with morale. And he goes up. Plus two power moves. I'll take that. So you get up to 91 power moves. He doesn't get any sacks, in case you were curious, like, at all. We don't get any pressure, really. But uh, that was a big win. And we're going to the Super Bowl. So I'm ecstatic. And you know what? We'll advance there now because we might have a development change, considering that it's Super Bowl week. We might have some changes here. We face the Dallas Cowboys. This is a classic matchup. Dolphins. Cowboys, Super Bowl. Did anyone get an upgrade in development by chance? Please. Please. None that I can see. We have upgrade points for uh, Lawrence Ross, though. I don't see any random development upgrades, unfortunately. At least on offense. And on defense, uh, I see none as well. So a little bit disappointing, but awards are in. So Defensive Rookie of the Year for DeAndre Hubbard. But uh, I guess we'll go we'll go over that in the next episode. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.